Angelic Empowerment International Network is proudly sponsored in part by No Surrender Ottawa, a group of individuals who have realized that there is a gap in the animal shelter and welfare services that urgently needs filling. No Surrender with a focus on keeping people and pets together through good times and bad times and aims to fill that gap. Please help support our animals. For more information, go to facebook.com forward slash no surrender Ottawa or triple W no surrender dot CA offer a donation foster adopt all the links are provided for you in the description box no surrender keeping people and their pets together hello and welcome my name is Lorraine Katz from intuitive tarot and I'm here um, doing it a little bit late sorry um i'm here to give you your monthly lunar forecast um your podcast as it were um for the full wolf moon and the full wolf moon start started january 6th and it runs through to february 5th um this wolf moon is a micro moon and that basically means that um in its orbit the moon has an elliptical orbit and that means that right now it's the furthest away from the earth in its orbit um and that means that it just looks smaller in the sky it's smaller it's not a super moon which means when you have a super moon it's the closest and that means the moon looks really big in the sky so a micro moon is just the opposite it looks much smaller in the sky um so i started this reading by pulling a card from my osho zen buddhist influence deck and the card i pulled is a very good one. Um, actually, all the cards are pretty good for this uh, this month. Um, it is Guidance or the Three of Pentacles in the standard tarot deck. The image here is of an angel or a guardian angel or your higher self, however you want to um, describe it. But uh, there's a powerful being pulling another figure forward while the other figure looks backwards. Um, when this card shows up, it talks about the need to move forward, to look towards the future rather than looking backwards. Um, it also talks about real progress being made if you do that, if you can focus on where you want to be rather than where you've been or missed opportunities and look at what the future potentially could hold. Um, you can get a lot more uh, done uh the other thing this card also talks about in terms of the figure um is that there will be someone you're working with um who uh will be very uh like-minded individual like-minded individual who will be very good at getting you moving um they will stimulate you and um make you regain some of that passion um, for whatever whatever the work you're doing, whether it's creative or business or whatever it is, um, this is going to happen in this, uh, in this particular lunar month. The first week of this lunar month, which unfortunately fortunately has already passed, I'm sorry I'm late, but I, I caught a cold and I was not up to doing reading. So um, the first week that has already passed uh, was brought to us by the stag card. And that would have been January 6th through to the 13th. And the stag is about fertility. So a lot of creative energy, a lot of wanting to make things, do things. Um, it's about strength, discovering your strength um, and feeling more independent. Like you can do things um, on your own that you never thought you could do. Um, it is also a card that talks about new beginnings. Um, you have here two birch in the background. So a portal, a doorway, a new, a new doorway, something you're, um, you're passing through like a rite of passage, uh, doing something very, uh, scary, but exciting. Um, the other thing this card talks to me about is, um, the stag in the Druid, um, mythology is one of the oldest, the four, there's four of the oldest animals that were first created or first came into existence. The stag is one of them. 
which means it has an otherworldly connection. So it also talks about feeling flashes of intuition or um, deja vu or just having a little more psychic or intuitive ability during this time period. Um, the other thing this card also speaks to me about is, is it's also this time of year when um, the, the stag starts to lose their antlers. So um, the antlers talk about experience. Um, they're like a crown, um, but it's also a time of renewal. The, the antlers are shed and then they regrow. Um, so it, it's a time of growth as well. And the other thing this uh, card talks to me a lot is about the idea that it's okay to shift directions. Um, if you have an intuitive flash um, that tells you you should maybe try something new, um, stags are also, uh, also, when they are startled or sense danger, they can change the direction that they move in very, very easily. So that's another insight this card has um, suggested to me today. Um, the second card that I pulled, which is for the week um, we're presently in at this moment while I'm doing the reading, which is January 14th to the 21st. And Ram is another, uh, again, powerful um, animal. Um, Ram talks about being um, able to have a breakthrough that if you felt like you've been hitting your head against this wall, um, the wall's about to crumble. You're going to have a breakthrough this week. Um, and you'll be able to uh, also be very sure-footed. Um, this talks about, as I said earlier, the Three of Pentacles or the Guidance card is a pentacle card, which talks about earth, talks about security, and it talks about feeling grounded. So this card also talks about feeling grounded. No matter how rocky uh, the landscape, um, the ram is able to comfortably navigate it. Um, the other thing that this uh, card talks about, in the Druid tradition, um, rams were often used um, for sacrifice. And, um, sorry, I just got a message. Um, were... After they were sacrificed, they were used to do divination. So again, there's a this week is also coming with this is more understanding, uh, deeper understanding, like having more intuition and more um, feelings come that are leading you in the right direction. Um, Ram is also about uh, healing, doing some healing work as well. Um, their um and comfort because um the 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 wool of of the uh the sheep was uh very um they were not sacrificed very often like it it was a big deal to sacrifice a ram they were um not generally meat animals they were kept for their uh for their other properties they were uh bred for the, for the wool. Um, so this, this is a really, again, we've got nothing but positive, powerful cards in this reading. Um, the next card that I pulled, which, uh, is for the week of the 22nd through the 29th of January, I pulled bear. And again, um, <laughs> bear is about intuition. It's about, um, Intuition linked with like primal instinct, like your gut versus your kind of spiritual heart uh, giving you um, clues. So the two are um, linked in this card. When the bear shows up, um, you are feeling um, strong and powerful. Bear to me also talks about uh, finding your North Star, finding finding what your uh, your guiding light is and using that to keep you on your path. So basically keep your eye uh, on the on the on the North Star and stay the course. That's what this card talks about. It talks about 
feeling your power, both the power that is, you know, the physical thing, but also the spiritual thing that is your power. Um, and the final card of this lunar month uh, is another very strong, powerful male animal. Again, we've got, you know, three male animals and, and the bear I take as, as female, just because. Um, and the bull is, is here for January 30th through to February 5th to the end of this lunar month. And bull is about, the bull is about uh, wealth. It's about abundance and potency. So um, there are financial, sometimes, um, if you have a financial opportunity, um, the bull is a very good sign that now is a good time to take advantage of any financial opportunities that come up for you. Um, it also talks about uh, creative work and knowing that if you apply yourself, and again, there's also the suggestion of, of um, the tame bull, oxen, uh, being yoked in tandem with another ox. Ox usually came in pairs um, when you were trying to get something done. So this also harkens back to um, the original card I pulled. Uh, working with somebody else to get things done and being able to do more because you um, you uh, working together in tandem, you can get more done, you can pull more weight, you can move you can move mountains. Um, the other thing that this uh, card also talks about to me is the idea of um, of knowing that there will be help. Um, so you're not in this alone, basically. So I will quickly recap. The overarching theme is the Three of Pentacles or guidance. So moving forward, hopefully with uh, the, the help of somebody who is going to keep you from being distracted and looking back and will help get you focused and motivated to to just go for it. Um, the first week, uh, the 6th to the 13th of this month was all about um, feeling like you had more energy. It's a new start. You're motivated. You're feeling like you want to take on more. And you're also starting to have a little more intuition, um, a sense of a direction that you want to go in. The second week is all about feeling a breakthrough, um, perhaps having old wounds healed, um, and uh, feeling really grounded, and that you you feel that you can tackle the path ahead. Next week, uh, the 22nd to the 29th, is all about recognizing that you your gut and your head and your heart are all going to be able to uh, come together in agreement. This is a really great card for um, feeling you can find your your way moving forward. Um, the bearer is also talks about the North Star. It talks about protection. Um, because uh, bears are uh, protectors. Um, the, the mother bear and cubs and just don't get between the two. So when bear energy shows up in a reading, um, you're in this, this time you're protected um, and you can do things that you uh, feel are a little risky um, when your intuition and your instincts tell you now is the time to move. And we wrap up the month with, um, with the bull. Um, this is a powerful animal able to move things. It's all about wealth, uh, potential, um, and work, applying yourself to get the things you want um, and recognizing that um, it, it might be a long haul, but again, like this card talks about, there will be help. There will be either a colleague or a friend, a cheerleader. Um, 
somebody is going to be there having your back and and helping you get your uh, task finished. Um, so that's what I have for you for this lunar month. Um, I wish you well, and we'll hopefully see each other on time um, next month. Blessed be.